What's the Chow Chin Chow's Lantern Joe here and welcome to the announcement video for our Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. We are going to be doing a Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock as our next LP. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, there was a vote in the comments in the description down below. There was a straw poll. I let you give me a few I gave you a few options of what the vote was going to be about and what our next LP was going to be between Pokemon Heart Gold, Randomizer Egglock, Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock, Pokemon Sacred Gold Nuzlocke, Pokemon Perfect Heart Egglock, and Pokemon Perfect Heart Nuzlocke. Those were my five options. I let you vote, and I'm going to call the vote right here, right now. The vote is Pokemon Sacred Gold. I think they won by about four or five votes. Anyway. So, Pokemon Sacred Gold is our next LP. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And uh, if you've never heard of Pokemon Sacred Gold and Storm Silver before, uh, Pokemon Sacred Gold and Storm Silver are harder ROM hacks of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. They include higher gym leader levels and random trainer levels. For example, Yux Joey's Redditor, usually level 4 in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, is actually level 7 now, so it's actually kind of more beastly. So. All that aside is a really hard game. Uh, six Pokemon are part of every gym leader's team. There are six Pokemon in every gym leader's teams. And as far as I've heard, there's also a chance of them actually having max IVs in the stats they need to have max IVs into in order for them to be all okay. You know, for example, a if you have a physical attacking person, you better believe that that physical attacking Pokemon is going to have max IVs in physical attack. It's going to have 31s in physical attack. If it's a special attacker, it will have 31s in special attack. It's going to happen, sadly, in this game. I mean, from what I've heard. And so far, out of all the Let's Plays I have seen in Pokemon Sacred Gold and Storm Silver, uh, only about two of them have actually completed it. I'm not going to give you guys the names of the YouTubers that have actually completed this game in a Nuzlocke format, because that's spoilers. But I really want to win, and it looks like a really hard ROM hack, so I'm going to be challenged a lot here. It's going to push me to my maximum, but it's going to be really, really fun, so I'm going to enjoy it all the way. But before we get on to all of that, I'd like to thank, I'd like to take this time and thank Zarphobia. Zarphobia made all the layouts, all the thumbnails, and everything for this series, so thank you, Zarphobia. They're amazing. And I will be using them all. I may change them up a bit just to fit usually what I like to put. Because I like to put question of the day. I like to have my Twitter. And I like to have my 3DS friend code in the layouts. So other than that, those are the slight changes I will be making to the layouts. You don't need to worry about the Zarphobia. I just want to point that out there. Those are the additions I will be making from the speed edit. That would have been on the Zarphobia channel. I believe it's speed edit number 10. And they are amazing layouts and thumbnails. Thank you, Sarphobia, for making them. And I'm now going to go over to Pokegen and show you guys how to send me an egg. So if you want to send me an egg for this Pokemon Sacred Gold egg lock, what you need to do is you need to download Pokegen. In the description, there will be a link. And you click on that link, and it will take you to the website to download the latest version of Pokegen. I am using... The latest version of Pokegen, the Pokegen version I'm using is, uh, I think it's Pokegen 3.1.13 or something like that. That is the latest version of Pokegen, and that is the version I'm using. And that is the version that the link will take you to. So download that, and you'll be able to use Pokegen if you use the unzipping software when it comes down to your PC. But it'll come as a zip file, so you need to unzip it. If you don't have unzipping software, I suggest uh, 7-Zip. 7-Zip is an amazing unzipping software. It's really, really cool, and it's absolutely free. So that's one I use, and it's really cool for that. Anyway, also, you may need to disable your firewall and stuff like that. So if you are under the age of 16, you may need to ask your parents' permission before you download Pokegen. If you already have Pokegen, you don't need to worry about this. But if you don't have Pokegen, you may need to ask your parents' permission if you're under the age of 16, because... Um, Pokegen may be considered a virus or malicious software by some internet security softwares and, of course, by Google Chrome as well. So, to deal with all that, just disable the firewall. It's fine. It's not a virus or anything, and you're not letting anything bad into your system before you worry about that. So, there's no need to worry. It's 
perfectly, perfectly fine. As a police car keeps on going by my apartment again, this is what I get for recording in the middle of the day. Anyway, let's get to Pogachan and I will meet you guys there. Okie dokie, so this is Pokejan. It is a Pokemon generating program, and this is what you get when you download the software. You've unloaded it, you've unzipped it, and everything's fine. This is what you get. This is what the main menu looks like for Pokejan, right here. And you're going to see my mouse on screen because it's just basically, uh, it's better for me to set it like that. Anyway, so what we want to do here is we want to set for Heart Gold, Soul Silver. In the options menu, we want to go to the options menu right up here, and we want to go target game, and we want to go hot gold soul silver. That sets the game as legal and uh, makes me know that the the all the eggs are illegal, and it's it's just easier that way. So I don't get Japanese characters and all that other stuff. It's just fine that way, and it's so much better that way. Anyway, so now it's time to look at what Pokemon you guys want to send me. So you can send me anything you want as long as it's the lowest form of the Pokemon you want to send me. For example, the Pokemon generator has a bomber snow because it's in alphabetical order. But obviously I can't accept a bomber snow because it's not the lowest form of that specific Pokemon. Po a bomber snow actually is evolved from Snova. So if you want to send me a Bomber Snow, I'm totally fine with you sending me a Bomber Snow, but please send me a Snova so it evolves into an Bomber Snow. Don't send me a Bomber Snow because that's just wrong. Send me Snova. If you want to send me a Snova called Obomber Snow, that's fine. Feel free to do that, but please don't send me an Bomber Snow. It just seems weird. So please send me the lowest form of the Pokemon you want to send me. And since I want to send myself a chin chat, a uh, lantern, that's what I usually do for these egglocks. Since I am Lantern Joe, Lantern is my mascot Pokemon. Lantern is my favorite Pokemon of all time. So I'm gonna be sending myself elf. I'm gonna be sending myself a lantern. But of course, since we want the lowest form of the Pokemon, we're gonna be sending ourselves a chin chat. Because chin chat evolves into lantern. So I'm gonna look for a chin chat. There we go, Chinchow. Now we want to give this a nickname. Now usually I call my Chinchows Criminal. So that's what I will be doing today. I will be calling my Chinchow Criminal. I know Patches is a name spread around the internet for Lanterns and Chinchows, but I like Criminal more. Criminal is what I like to go for, for Lanterns and Chinchows. And it's actually still acceptable in Sip Gen is the name Criminal, so I'm fine with that. Unlike most names, uh, and there's a lot of names that I've had to wear uh, literally mess about with because they're not acceptable in X and Y standards so that I can use those nicknames again in X and Y. I've had to mess about with my nicknames so much in X and Y. I don't know why they messed. I don't know why they did that. Anyway, also you want to tick the box here so the nickname is manually set. You want to tick that because otherwise we get Japanese characters and that's not cool. Anyway, experience. Keep this at zero. Do not touch this. Do not touch the experience. It's very important to you. Do not touch that. Level. Keep that at one. Do also do not touch this. Okay, so nature. Now nature. Uh, give me a give me a nature that benefits the Pokemon. Literally, give me a nature that benefits the Pokemon you are sending me. And if you don't know what benefits the Pokemon you are sending me. Just hold over the down arrow here with your mouse, and it tell Pokechan tells you what natures do what. So, for example, I want a calm nature. Calm, a calm nature, ups the special defense whilst lowering the attack, and which is what is needed for a lantern because lanterns are bulky. They are especially bulky, and that's what they need. Okay, so held item. Now you can send me any held item you want. But if your Pokemon evolves by a held item, please send me the held item. It's really annoying when people don't send the held item that their Pokemon evolves by. For example, if you send me a Snowrunt and you want it to evolve into a Frostlass, please make it female. And of course, send me the Dawnstone. It's really annoying when people don't do that. Send me the Dawnstone if you want a, if you want a Frostlass. It's really good. It's a really good idea. Also, for example, if you want to send me a Ralts. You can send me a Ralts, but 
please send me the roll. If you want it to evolve into a Gallade, a Gallade, please send me the item that evolves into a Gallade. I think it's Dawnstone again. So please send me that item. If your Pokemon evolves by an item, please send me the item. If your Pokemon does not evolve by item, please send uh, send me a battle. Uh, send me a battle item. Send me like a choice item or send me uh, leftovers or something like that because it's really helpful because this ROM hack is really, really hard and it might actually help me complete this game. So please, if you want to, Feel free to send me an item, but you know, send me the choice items if your Pokemon does not evolve via item. If your Pokemon evolves by an item, the, the Pokemon you're sending me evolves by an item, please send me the item. It's just really important that you send me the item. Right, happiness. Keep this at zero because uh, basically it allows me to hatch the egg instantly. You know, like one step and the egg is hatched. Usually, if I have a fast hatch code on, I will be having a fast hatch code on as well to make the process even more quicker. But, you know, keeping the happiness at zero makes everything just so much better. Okay, so ability now. Ability is uh, what Pokemon is uh, Pokemon's legal ability. And, uh, of course, please send me the legal abilities for the Pokemon you want to send me. And if you don't know how to find that out, uh, Pokemon DB is your friend. Um, I will leave a link to their Pokedex down in the description down below because that's the one I use all the time for finding out legal movesets and legal abilities and all that other stuff for Jenny Pokemon. That's the one I use. But other ones you can use. You can use Smogging if you want competitive. If you want to look at what the best competitive abilities are and competitive movesets and competitive nature, Smogging's really good for that. Bulbapedia is quite good for looking at abilities and stuff like that and movesets and all that other stuff. Um, Maron forums works out pretty well, and there's, there's a lot of other sites. Celebi works out pretty nicely as well. All the links that you'll need are down in the description down below, and if you have one that you prefer, use that one. That's fine with me. But I prefer Pokemon DB, so I'm going to meet you in Pokemon DB, and we were going to sort out the ability, so I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Okie dokie, so we are now in Pokemon DB Pokemon Database. And this is their Pokedex. I want you to, s so you can send me any Pokemon you want from the first four gens. Please make sure it's the lowest form of the Pokemon you want to send me. Uh, from those first four gens. Don't worry about fifth or sixth gen. Don't worry about those things. But uh, since I'm sending myself a Chinchou, I need to go to second gen. Because that's where Chinchou is available from. So I need to go to the second gen. So here's Chinchow's moveset, and I can find out that Chinchow's legal abilities are Illuminate and Volt Absorb. Also, Water Absorb is its hidden ability, but I don't really know if hidden abilities are available in these Drayon and ROM hacks. If you do know if they're available, please let me know, so that way I can find out. Uh, that's really cool. I don't know if they are available in these ROM hacks. So with that in mind, please, if you don't know, please don't send me like an Iron Fist Chinchar, because... Literally, it might not be legal, and it's just really annoying. So, Blaze Chinchar would be fine. So, make sure you send me the legal abilities. So, that's what I want. I want Volt Absorb. So, that's Lantern's second ability. So, also, uh, looking at this, we can also see that Illuminate is Lantern's default ability, and Volt Absorb is Lantern's secondary ability. So, when we go into Pokegen in, in a couple of seconds, when we get Pokegen back up, we will be setting this as our number two, uh, the number two ability. That way, it keeps Volt Absorb. I've recently found out that if you set it at number one, it'll actually go back to whatever its default ability is. So, for example, for Lantern here, for Chinchou here, its legal ability is Illuminate. Its uh, default ability is Illuminate. And Illuminate just gives me more Pokemon, and that means I need more repels. I mean, yeah, sure, first encounters, that's amazing, but you know. If I have a lantern in front of my party and uh, it just gives me more Pokemon that I have to deal with and I have to get repel away from me. So it's not really that good of an ability as Illuminate. But Volt Absorb is a very good ability and that's the ability I want to give Lantern. So let's go back over to Pokegem. Okie dokie, so we have Pokegem back up now. And I want to give myself Volt Absorb. So let's find that. Let's go down here, and there's Volt Absorb right there. You can also type, and it uh, finds the ability for you easily. Okay, so we also want to set the second ability. That way, when it evolves into Lantern, it keeps that ability as well. 
so form we don't need to worry about that also if you are sending me a Rodon, please set it at the default form uh, there is an event in Pokemon Sacred Gold and Storm Silver where I can set it to the form you want to set me to, uh, you want to set it to you know please let me know in the email what form you wanted to set it to if you want to send me a Rodon. but you know there's a, an event for that so you don't have to worry about you know sending me a Rodon wash because it won't hatch as a Rodon wash it's just really weird like that so please leave it as default Rodon if you're sending me a Rodon. anyway country this sets where the Pokemon is coming from it doesn't really matter so you don't need to worry about that origin it sets the game where the Pokemon is coming from I'm gonna set Pokemon heart gold but you can set any one you want it's perfectly fine by me but make sure it's not black, black 2, white, or white 2, because uh, that's illegal but for this 4th gen game. So I'm going to set heart gold, that's fine by me. And we want to go down here, so shiny leaf allows for shinies to be available, but there's a lot of things you have to do to make a Pokemon shiny. There's plenty of things you can do to make the Pokemon hatch a shiny, but to keep shiny, there's a lot of things you need to do. There's a lot of things you need to do. I probably need to give you guys a save file in order to make it actually shiny. So, if you want to send, if you want to send me a Pokemon that hatches as shiny, I will do whatever I can to make it actually shiny in the game and keep it shiny and everything like that. But you know, if you don't want to deal with all that, that's perfectly fine by me. And I don't really like Lantern's chin, uh, Lantern's shiny sprite or Chinchou's shiny sprite, so I'm going to be leaving that alone. This also sets a gender right here. You can set it as male, female, or non for those Pokemon that have no gender. I'm going to be setting mine as female, so because uh, criminal to me was a female, and I like I like Lantern's female. It doesn't really matter either way, male or female doesn't really matter. Anyway, and we want to click egg right here. If we click egg right here, it allows the Pokemon to be set as an egg. So that's really important. Do that. Also, this bit here also sorts out the shiny, but again, you got to worry about the PID and the, your actual trainer ID and all that other stuff, so it's really hard to deal with all that other stuff, and it's just really annoying, but uh, if you want to set it, feel free to, uh, just I'll try, and make, I'll try my hardest to make sure it stays shiny, or I'll rehatch it as shiny with all the IVs and EVs and stuff like that. You know, all the things I need to do to make it shiny, I will make it shiny for you guys. And base over here is Pokerus. Now, if you know things about Pokerus, feel free to give me Pokerus. It might actually help because this is a harder ROM hacker Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So please, if you know things about Pokerus, send me Pokerus. If you want to send me Pokerus, please send me Pokerus. I don't really know anything about Pokerus, so I'm going to leave this alone and go on to the next tab. The next tab over here is Met. Now, in the game section, it has Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver, which is the game we are sending this from, and that was set by the options menu up there. And uh, now, as for location, it can come from anywhere you want. It doesn't really matter. It's totally fine by me. I'm going to be setting where Lantern comes. I'm going to be setting where Lanterns are actually available in the wild, and it's at uh, my location on Twitter. Uh, route 27, that's where it is. Route 27 is where lanterns are available. Now, ball is just for show, really, but if you want to send me a spe your special Pokemon in a special ball, because it looks better in that ball, by your opinion, feel free to do that. I'm going to be sending myself a Chinchou in a dive ball, because dive ball is one of my favorite balls. Now, level, we want to put that at... We want to put that at... 1, and then... Date doesn't really matter. That's just the date it was obtained and slash hatched and stuff like that. That'll come from the actual where uh, when I hatched the egg, so I don't need to worry about that. And then of course, right over here, encounter. If you want to set that, it's perfectly fine. It doesn't really matter. But I'm gonna set this as egg power park event honey tree that kind of thing. It's just legit uh, legit ability. If you're you know actually trying to gen for sip gen then that's you need to make sure everything's fine from there but for this egg lock you don't really need to worry about that so we want to go over to stats now now stats are it's po are the pokemon's legal uh, stats and all that other stuff it's just what it usually have now over here are its ivs and its evs 
I don't really know a lot about EVs or IVs, I don't really know a lot about this stuff, so what I'm going to be doing is randomizing the IVs. If you don't know a lot about EVs and IVs either, it would probably be best for you to leave them alone and uh, just click the randomize button down here, so it randomizes the set. So what I want is, I want it to have uh, special defense, its highest stats, but speed and special attack to also be really good. So I'm going to keep on randomizing the sets until I find something I like. Okie dokie, that looks like a set I like. Yeah, that looks like a good set. Hidden Power Grass, Highly Curious, it looks like a good set. That one looks like a really good set. Actually, Hidden Power Grass would be actually really cool. Anyway, now we want to go to... Uh, now. EVs, leave them at zero. It'll probably be best if you leave them at zero. It makes the game a lot more harder for me, and it just makes it a lot more interesting for you guys if you leave them at zero. So that's why I'm saying leave them at zero. And now we want to go to attacks. Now for attacks, again, we're going to need a Pokemon DB. We're going to need our our Pokedex right here, we're going to need this to find out the legal attacks for Lantern in this gen. So, what we want to do is we want to go down here to Lantern's movesets, or Chinchou's moveset, and we want to go to 4th gen. And then we want to go to Heart Cold Soul Silver, because that's where we're genning, that's where we're coming from, and I want it to be any egg move and any level 1 move that the Pokemon gets in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Any egg move and any level one move that your Pokemon gets, please send me that. So we can see from this that Chinchou gets Bubble. So we want Bubble. Because Bubble is level one and that's what we want. Bubble is what we want. So we're going to give ourselves Bubble. There we go. Bubble. And we also can give ourselves Super Sonic because it's the other level 1 move it learns. So there it is, Super Sonic. Now, as for these other moves, I'm going to be setting myself. I'm going to see what the egg moves are for Lantern. So over here we have the egg moves. You can send me any egg moves you want and any level 1 moves as well. And Lantern, I know, learns. Psybeam by Egg Move, and I really want that. So, Psybeam is a move I am going to be uh, getting Lantern to learn. So, there you go, Psybeam. And also, we're going to have Amnesia as part of its moveset as well. Because Amnesia up special defense, and that's really useful for Lantern. So, that's all of Lantern's the uh, all of Lantern's ability is a moveset set, and everything's fine by that standard. So, there we go. And now we want to go to. OT Trainer slash Miscellaneous. Now this tab doesn't really matter. It's uh, the training information will be made when I hatch the Pokemon. It will just set to my uh, identity and everything like that. It will just set to my ID. Um, now for your markers, if you want to set these, so if you've gave me max IVs in special attack and special defense, and you know which markers represent those, feel free to set those so I know when I hatch your Pokemon it has those max IVs. I don't really know anything about that so and I know that I have not set myself any max IVs in any areas so I'm going to be leaving this alone. And at this point we want to go back over to the main tab. So we want to go back over to the main tab, so we're, so we're back in the main tab and then we now want to go to the PID system over right over here and we want to click F. This puts us into the PID system, and now we want to search and make our Pokemon legal, so it has a legal ID for this game. And it's found me two. Okay, it's found me two Pokemon that are legal for this set. I don't know why it's done that, but I want the second one, because that gives me Lantern's second ability. And there we go. Then all you need to do is go over to the PC box system over here, and click on any box you want and now we want to let right click and go to set and there we go there's our egg that is our egg right there that's our egg and now all we need to do is we need to go to file and save pokemon from tabs 
So in this, I want you to save your eggs to wherever you can find them easily because it's just easier for you guys to uh, uh, find them easier that way. And I'm going to be putting them on my desktop because that's where I've, that's easier for me to find them. And uh, for file name, uh, please send me the nickname. Uh, please name your file the nickname of the Pokemon, and please make sure it's also a .p. KM. .pkm is a Pokemon file and that's what I want. Don't send me DSV or anything like that because I I probably will accept it, it's just really annoying. So we we'll want to set this as criminal. And my computer's already found a criminal on my desktop so we will set it as that and I will probably just put a number so I label it later because uh, no, no, that's from a failed recording. So there we go, criminal 2 and save. And now it's appeared on the desktop. That's perfectly fine. And next thing you want to do is you need to go over to your email clients. So I will meet you over there in my email clients in about a couple of seconds. So we are back. This is my email client. This is Pokemon. Uh, this is uh, Windows Live Mail. This is the one I use for my email address. So basically what you want to do uh, when you get into your email client is you want to go and send me a email. So you want to go to your new email. So you can send me a, so you can set up the email. And you can go to any clients you want. Any client that your email is set by, you can set it to your uh, so go to your default uh, email account and send me an egg from there. Now the email address I want you to send me these eggs to is jpm92 at hotmail.com. That is my email address for literally everything. So it's really important that you send me those emails from your emails to jpm92 at hotmail.com. The link, uh, well, the address will be down in the description. The email address will be down in the description. So you can just simply copy and paste and it'll be so much easier for you guys. And that is my email address right there, jpm92 at hotmail.com. That is the email address I want you to send me these to. As I set my keyboard back in its resting position, because it's all the way over there on my freebie box, and I'm trying not to worry about it, but uh, you know, I need to bring it over here so I can type. Next thing we want to do, go to the subject line, and in the subject line, put egg lock you can put sacred gold egg lock as well if you know how to spell sacred gold but i'm going to put egg lock please put this because the fact is this is my main email address and this is how i'm going to find out that it's your email and that you guys are sending me an egg so please put egg lock or sacred gold egg lock please put egg lock or something like that so that way i know you're sending me an egg and i know it's not like a bank statement or an order statement from amazon and stuff like that i just i know it's your email and then that way it'll be easier for me later on when i'm putting your eggs into the file so for cross-referencing purposes i'm going to put egg lock so there we go egg lock actually i spelled that wrong there we go egg lock and now all we need to do is we need to go to the message and we need to go to insert file and we want to bring our file over this is the paper, little paper clip here so we can attach it as an attachment and we want to go find our little file we want to go find criminal so we're looking on the desktop here and we're going to find criminal so when you go and attach your file, go to wherever you saved it. Please go to wherever you saved it. And uh, for me, that's the desktop. It's easier for me to find stuff if it's on the desktop. It might be the same for you guys. I don't know. But it's just easier for me. So there we go. We got criminal2. And we got my email address, which is jpm92 at hotmail.com. And we got the subject line egglock. And then all you need to do is click the send button. If you want to add a little email address saying good luck on this egglock, this game is really hard and stuff like that. If you want to put all that in there, feel free to. But, you know, you don't have to if you don't want to. Just click the send button and then it sends the egg to my email address. Which, But I am not going to do that in this example because this is my email address. And literally I'll be just sending the email to myself. And that's just silly. 
But that's all you need to do, and I hope you guys are excited for this Pokemon Sacred Gold and Storm Silver Egglock. It's going to be absolutely amazing. As for videos, they should be coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, I'd like to thank Zarphobia for making the layouts, thumbnails, and everything. He made all this stuff, and it's absolutely amazing. So thank you, Zarphobia. It was part of his Speed Edit series, episode 10, and thank you, thank you, thank you. They're amazing. You're an amazing friend, Zarphobia. And basically, I hope you guys are all excited for this Let's Play. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Hopefully, uh, what I'd like to get, uh, I will accept as many Pokemon as you want to send me. You can send me as many Pokemon as you want, and you can send them me from the moment you see this video to the moment the egg lock is over, you can send me as many eggs. So as long as the egg lock is on, you can send me eggs for it. And that's absolutely fine. I will program it in. And but the later the later you send me the eggs, the less chance of your eggs being used. So the earlier send me eggs, the better chance of your eggs being used, and that'll be so much better for you guys. Uh, target for this uh, in Pokemon Pearl, I got like 15, 16 eggs, which is really cool. But I want a bit more eggs this time as the target, so I'm going to set myself a target of about a box. If I can get a box of Pokemon, that'd be really cool. Also, I will be bringing in eggs from other people's. Storm of Silver, Sacred Gold, Egg Locks, and in order to make all my eggs to make this series a bit more longer and a bit more funner because you guys might not send me enough eggs. I don't know, but I want to make sure that I have enough eggs for this file so that I can hatch as many eggs as I need to for as many counts as I have, because if I run out of eggs, that'd be really silly, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? And uh, so I will be bringing over eggs from uh, one in intervals, Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock, the King Nappy's Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock, and of course, uh, I think it's uh, Shady Penguin's Pokemon Storm Silver Egglock. I will be bringing over all those a uh, uh, couple of boxes from their Egglocks to uh, help out with this. But you know, send me as many eggs as you can, and I will be making sure that I hatch the eggs that I get sent from email before I get uh, before I hatch the eggs that I'm set bringing over from other egg locks. I just want to point that out there. If you send me an egg, I will make sure I hatch your egg before I send uh, before I hatch any other eggs that I've been gen from other egg locks. So that's perfectly fine by me. So you send me as many eggs as you want and please send me a lot of eggs. It will be really useful and I hope you guys are really excited for the start of our Pokemon Sacred Gold and Storm Silver Egglock. It's going to be absolutely amazing. The video should be coming out in the next few weeks. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Send me as many eggs as you want. Please get excited for this series. And until next time, I'm Lantern Show, and I am out. See you again for the start of our Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. Good night.